On Saturday it was reported that a local Denver news producer and the news agency's bodyguard were taken into custody for the fatal shooting of a Trump supporter during dueling rallies on Saturday. All initial reports had indicated that it was a conflict between Antifa and conservatives, but the Denver police later issued a statement saying that the shooter did not have any ties to the militant leftists. We reported last night that the assertion by the police may not be accurate. Kyle Clark of Nine News, a local Denver station, tweeted on Saturday evening. Trending. Holy hell. Joe Biden looks like death in Erie, Pennsylvania something is wrong with old Joe. The producer was not arrested, but was taken into custody as a person of interest. In a statement posted to Twitter, the Denver police said that the suspect is a private security guard with no affiliation with Antifa. As we previously pointed out, the shooter had numerous anti-Trump and radical left posts on his social media. We were the first to report. The shooter's name, Matthew Doloff is missing on the Colorado list of registered security guards in Denver. Last night we reported more. On the actual event an altercation between the shooter, Doloff, and the Trump supporter, Lee Keltner, who died. We showed pictures from the event where Keltner and Doloff face off. In the first picture, they approach each other. Then Doloff pushes Keltner and Keltner retreats. In response, the grandfather Keltner, shoots what was reportedly bear spray at Doloff. In response to the spray, Doloff shoots Keltner dead. Another video shows the incident and how Keltner is shot dead. Matthew Doloff, the killer of Trump supporter Keltner was also the aggressor. Lock him up.